Hi everyone, well I'm at the train station in Zug and waiting for the train to uh, the airport to Flughafen Zurich and yes I'll be getting on the plane in a couple of hours and heading to, to Lisbon. So this is the beginning of an adventure. Um, I planned this trip about two years ago and it was going to be just a solo trip but then several women from our 60 and me community said they'd like to join me. So I said okay uh, and we all planned it together and now we're going to meet up in Lisbon and have a week of traveling. Now we're doing it by bus. It's going to be a bus tour and so it's going to be a whole new experience. We are in Lisbon for two days at a really nice hotel. It seems to be really well located and that'd be good fun. Then we're going to Porto for two days, then Salamanca, which I think is entering into Spain, spend there some time there and then we stop along the way along the coast and then we get to uh, Madrid. And then the journey home is going to be fun. I'm doing it by train. That's going to be another story. Go from um, Madrid to Barcelona and onwards. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, well I made it to the airport. Um, I'm here a couple of hours early so I, I'm going to have a look, look around the shops and uh, duty free and I love getting to the airport a little early. You can check out all the different, um, oh I don't know, offerings and, and things to buy but also the people, where they're going, what their stories are. I just find it so fascinating. So I was watching a video this morning which really, I'm, I'm trying to practice it and it's really helping. It's giving a new perspective on things and that is the difference between perception and perspective. So your perception is, you know, what you, the, your life, your world, how you see the world, your perception of the world. And believe it or not, it's not the same as everybody else. And the um, suggestion was that you start looking at perspective in terms of people and what they're doing, what their lives are, what concerns them, and kind of walk in their shoes for a little bit. And it's a really interesting um, opportunity while you're in an airport because there's so many people uh, from different places in the world. And just stopping to think, like, what is their perception of the world? Like, you you know, what, what, are they, what are they seeing in their own hearts, in their own minds? Anyway, I'm just um, going to wander for a bit and I'll be back in when I get on the flight. But I uh, hope you're all well. Okay, on board and ready to go. It's a busy flight, really full, on my way to Lisbon. Okay, arrived in <laughs> Lisbon. It was quite a landing. Oh my gosh, you come really close to the city. But uh, yeah, I'm here in the baggage claim area. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know, it's a little bit chaotic, but it'll be fine. I'll find my bags and off to the hotel. I'm so excited. No, it was a good flight, and um, I was just amazed at the clouds. There were just beautiful formations. I took some pictures, but I was on the over the wing, so I had a good, a good position. Anywho, off to luggage claim, baggage claim. Okay, so this is my room. I am staying at the Mondala Hotel in uh, Lisbon, and it's a beautiful hotel, very nice, and it's kind of business-like, but this is, the, this is the room I'll be staying in for a couple of nights, and I have a feeling the view out of this window is amazing. I'm going to <laughs> have a look. Oh my goodness, yeah. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. It's gorgeous, but this is the um, view that I'm seeing from my from my room. The castle is just over there but you can't quite see it. There are seven hills in Lisbon and um, I hope I get to see all of them while I'm here but anyway just I'll show you this 